Assalamu alaikum to some of you and peace to the rest of you. I'm not going to talk about black women in this one. I'm going to talk about uh, overgrown girls. And really, the ones that I have to talk about have always been overgrown girls. Much like when women have to drag certain men through the mud, these guys aren't really men when they, when they go past a certain level of indecency, they're just overgrown boys. The difference is that women will, will um, use these things to define their lack of manhood. And when the man is not uh, trying to be a man, then that's what you can call him. And we don't even dispute them with this. But when it comes to the things that women do, uh, or I rather I should say the things that overgrown girls do, we're not allowed to say that they're not women. So I'm coming out and saying, no, they're not. When they come with double standards, they're not women. If they don't act like adults, they're not women. An example of a double, a double standard would be when a woman um, uh, complains about colorism, which does exist, and I would say is a problem globally, then turns around and discriminates based on height and says that it's natural. No, see, I used to think that it was. This morning when I woke up my time, I thought women just naturally prefer taller men. When um, I read an article about this, I found out that there were apparently cultures in which height was not uh, an issue in women preferring a man. So, um, that being said, I realized that it was, it, it seemed to be a lot more about nurture than it was about nature. Now I understand that women don't want a child sized man, but at the end of the day, uh, so they may not want that, but how many grown men are child sized? It's a very rare occurrence. So I, I had to stop and, and take a look at this and say, wait a minute, if heightism is artificial and colorism is artificial then this means that men who were below average height or below preferred height in a particular culture have as much of a right to whine bitch moan and complain and cry as women do about colorism i mean just to be fair but that's another topic for another recording if i ever decide to get around to it point is when you come with double standards that is very childish it's very hypocritical and we don't count that as adult behavior so I'm flipping it and saying it works both ways. I want to say this regarding uh, these overgrown girls and be done with it. Number one, and I'm pretty much talking about our community. I'm not talking about it applies to the West, but I only care, like I said, about the black Western community. I give I give negative F's about the white Western communities. The more trouble they go through, great, the better it is for us. No better time for us to make our family lives more stable than at the same time that their family lives are disintegrating. Remember that. First thing I wanted to tell you is, for an overgrown girl, they believe that it is the job of black men, responsible black men, not overgrown boys. They believe it is the job of the responsible black man to be stupid so that they can remain little girls and run game. And when you show yourself to be too smart for that, then they believe that it is your job to be patient so that they can be stupid. Again, they believe these overgrown girls believe that it is your job as a man. And I mean, as a real man, not a, a June bug, not an IDNS. I'm talking about a real, you're a responsible guy. You ain't got to be perfect. But if you are a responsible man and you bought your stuff, they believe it is your job to be stupid so they can run game. And when you're not stupid, they believe it is your job to be patient so that they can remain stupid. And what I'm saying is that responsible black men are saying, absolutely not, we're no longer willing to be stupid so you can run game and come to us trying to trick us into paying you to screw somebody else. And we're also not required to be patient so that you can be that stupid and think that we're that stupid. That's really all that's going on, ladies. That's what you're seeing. Now, to the ladies that, that are actually grown and adult, it doesn't mean that you don't have preferences. But I just, when I say adult, I simply mean that you are fair and balanced in your preferences, much like an adult man has to be. Again, all you got to do when you see these little young, ignorant ass women and you can tell them better than we can because of what they will ask for versus what they will do what they request and what they actually expect versus what they didn't pay to get it and what they're not doing to get it. You'll know them. You'll know them before we do because you know them better than we do.
You know your friends, you know the responsible one, and you, you know the irresponsible one. So, all you got to do is say to some of them, if, the, if there are mixed messages coming from any one of your friends, all you got to do is stop some of them and say to them, preferably in private, look, I know these good things about you, X, Y, and Z, and list them. And say to her after that, when you stop sending mixed messages, there will be no more confusion in the minds of people around you, and there will be no more confusion in your own mind. There will be no more confusion in the physical manifestations in your life. What do you mean? It's very simple. If you want to be treated like a lady, then yes, you are expected to dress and cover and behave like a lady in public around these men. It doesn't mean you can't be interested in a man. It simply means that if you are showing off too much of yourself, especially in the public to anybody, then yes, you're going to get too much attention the wrong kind you're going to have to navigate through all of that wrong kind of attention for the guy that you are interested in to even think that you're interested for him to even uh, figure how's he going to know you're getting so much attention how's he going to know that you that he stood out in your eyes he'll never know he has no way of knowing this he can't figure it out he can't guess men aren't that smart but if you do not send out mixed messages then you won't attract the wrong kind of attention anyway. You can say to them, okay, well, look, you know, you've said to me and to all of us as your friends what kind of man you want. Now, let's look at what you've shown yourself to be to men when you're out in public. And watch. All you got to do, ladies, is tell your friends that are still little girls that they're still little girls so they can grow the hell up. Because when guys act like this and another man knows his business enough, he gets checked. Now, a lot of these guys may act like this and other men don't know their business. And that might be why no one tells them. But if a man acts this way and another man knows his business, he gets checked. When I screw up or slip up in some way, my brother, my blood brother checks me. And at times he'll check me and I wasn't even screwing up. But he doesn't know I wasn't screwing up. That's my blood brother. My friends... And my colleagues, those with whom I socialize and those with whom I work, they'll tell me if they know that I'm screwing up in something. If I forget to clean off the whiteboards after I finish teaching my lesson, somebody's going to come check me on it. Just that. I can't get away with that and I can't get away with anything bigger than that. So ladies, I'm just asking you to go and check these little overgrown girls that hang out with you the same way. I hope this is a benefit. Assalamu alaikum.